Hey, just real quick, I'm a little bit irritated, you guys. So what I did was I did this whole video and then I went on the 2N10. It's our most beautiful off-road up here, guys. Gorgeous. Open in the summertime and, and, and spring. It didn't record. I'm so irritated. So you guys are going to get the snowflake that I caught in town over by Bear Mountain and stuff. And then I'm going to go do the whole drive again up on the mountain. So peace out, guys. Hey, what's up, everybody? How you guys doing? Hope you all are doing well. It's May 21st, 2021 in Big Bear Lake, California, or Big Bear City right now. We're driving up to Sugarloaf because one of my one of my minions let me know that they have like a couple snow flurries up here. So we're heading up there right now. I'm hoping we get something. Either way, this will just be a little update for you guys. It's been a while. I miss you guys. I've been doing stuff on my other channel, that luxury hotel and resort travel. I've been doing stuff on that. Like I just stayed at the langham huntington hotel for my mom that's a big part of that channel is i on on like with the five star hotels and stuff i treat her every time so um for being the kid that i was who would take from her purse all the time to buy my herbs and stuff like that as a kid like just oh my gosh i felt bad about it every time you guys i felt so guilty but i would still do it and that woman deserves everything in the world man she deserves everything that i can give her like Dude, guys, please, like, like, dude, love your, love your parents so much, you know, show them as much love as you possibly can. They come down on us because they care about us, and it's hard to understand when we're youngsters, but I'm telling you guys, like, if I wouldn't be in a position to be able to help them out as much as I can, I probably wouldn't be around anymore. I'm not kidding. Like, this is such a blessing, and you guys are a blessing, man. But yeah, just always, always remember how special your families are. Um, we only get one and I know some of us have you know not the what we consider not the greatest of families but I like to try to dig deep and, and, and you know seek what's going on through within as opposed to you know trying to find what's going on outside um, and it's it's been a significant change in my life and it's, it's helping me a lot but anyway we're in Sugarloaf right now I'm not too hopeful but these are the clouds that would be at least giving us this like a snow flurry so we are going to go to the top of Sugarloaf. we're basically going to take one of the streets that goes all the way to the very end because that would be our best chance i bet onyx summit we have a decent chance too but i started this video before we hit anything because I miss you guys. And I just, yeah, I just miss you guys, man. How's everyone doing? Are you guys good? Are you guys good? Like, this sucks. No snow, no no weather. Like, uh, I mean, we got possibly this right now, but then after that, what we're going to be looking forward to are, like, the monsoon thunderstorms, you guys, and um, just any type of change of weather that we get that has to do with precipitation in any form. Um yeah, even if we have like a crazy high wind warning type of a day, I'll I'll record that. I'll go find some spots that are just getting blasted, like like, like a sandblaster. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm just really really excited, you guys, about uh, uh, next season coming around. I know it's still a long way away, but we have seen snow in September in this town before. So that only means May, June, July, or four more months, guys. <laughs> What's likely is that we'll probably see our first snow in like six or seven months, but we can see snow in all these other months. The only two months of the year this town has not recorded snow on the records is, I believe it's July and August. However, every single month in this town has had freezing temperatures. So they have had uh, on record frozen temperatures every month of the year. I think annually, believe it or not, our low temperature stays like average is 32 degrees for the year. How crazy is that? It, it might even be 31 or 33 degrees, but it's right it's right there. I think that's pretty damn cool. I mean, literally, it's pretty damn cool. And when I lived in Denver, our daytime high, high temperatures were warmer than here in the wintertime, but then when it would get cold, it put this place to shame when it comes to cold. This place has not seen what I saw out there. Well, actually, this place got down to minus 20-something, I think in like the 70s or 60s. Um, minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit, guys. Isn't that amazing? 
So, um, yeah, the coldest I've seen it since I've been here, I think one of my old cars, I think four or five years ago, said like minus eight or minus nine degrees. I'm telling you guys, like I went outside and and had some hot water and threw it in 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 the air and um, you could see it turn turn to snow and ice like right away. Kind of like some of those videos that you watch in like Serbia or like just some really cold, 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 cold places where people go outside with a boiling pot of water and then just you know they end up throwing it in the air and it it it, it freezes immediately. It, it it comes down to snow, but it's boiling while you throw it in the air. That is so cool. So look at this little spot, guys. I forgot about this little spot right here. Oh my gosh, just like some bike jumps and stuff right here. Look at that, guys. Holy crap. This is great. But yeah, so this is the National Forest over here. You're gonna get so many bears over here, you guys. I mean, I'm not kidding. This is this is bear country back here. Um, this time of year, um, yeah, we'll start to get a lot more bear sightings. And you'll have letters and posts on all the Facebook stuff for Big Bear and stuff like that regarding this issue. And I'm telling you, they are so cute, but don't try to play with them because they will, they don't think you're cute. They really don't. They just want to protect themselves and their family. And so just always keep an eye out up here, guys, especially this time of year. Wintertime, it's not that bad because people are typically hibernating, but yeah. People meaning bears. But anyway, hang on, guys. Hang on just a quick second. All right, guys. So my bad. I had to turn off the phone for a minute. I had to take a phone call. But yeah, so we are over in this trailer park over off Highway 38 off of a street called Montclair. That's how you get into this trailer park. It's a really nice trailer park. They have a nice pool and a little clubhouse and stuff like that. It's a, it's a cool little area. Um, I was never one who was really into the whole trailer park thing. Um, on, my main reason was because of, you know, if, if you get any good wind events or stuff like that, I was always worried from all my knowledge of weather and just watching stuff for years and years, always worried that, that like I'll be inside of one at the, at that wrong time when even like not a, the strongest gust of wind comes, but something big enough just to crumple it. Um, I'm sure they're, they're built phenomenally. I'm just clearly not educated on the matter. Therefore... Uh, I don't know, but that's just what I have come to believe. And when you see lots of these tornadoes in the Midwest, you notice that it's mostly the trailer parks that are getting absolutely demolished. And for me, it's like, I think a lot of these places are actually really, really cute. You know, there's a lot of really nice trailer park areas, man. I mean, like it's, it's, I'd be happy to live in one if I didn't have that that weird fear in the back of my mind about stuff like that. When I grew up on Linda Isle, this little island in Newport Beach right on the water called Linda Isle, L-I-N-D-A, not Lido, no, it's Linda Isle. It's so funny, people like argue with me, they're like, oh, do, do you mean Lido Isle? And I'm, it's like, no, I don't mean Lido Isle. Just because you know of Lido doesn't mean that that's like that that's what I meant, <laughs> you know? Linda Isle has a hundred and, and, uh, and seven lots and 106 houses. And like Fletcher Jones Jr., Donald Bren, who owns the Irvine, or owned the Irvine company, he lives there or lived there. Um, the Crevier, BMW, Crevier, like all, the, all these other people. The, one of the Stater brothers, he and his wife, Elsie Stater. And Elsie used to give us full uh, full bars on Halloween of, of, of the candy, like the full size bars. They were awesome, awesome people. But as a kid, I didn't realize what type of people I was around. Like those were the who's who of just the most successful people ever. And it, it just makes me so proud that my dad was able to live there. My house that I grew up in, it's, it's just under $13 million right now. Look it up. 21 Linda Isle in Newport on obviously on the dial 92660. Um, and it was only a 5,200 square foot house, but it had seven bedrooms, seven bathrooms, an elevator, two staircases. We had a 69 foot yacht in the back, a catamaran, and I think like a Boston whaler or two. Um, 
it was guys it was amazing oh and my next door next door neighbor his son was 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 my best friend most of my life and we played in punk rock bands together his dad his name is ira mendelson and his dad started a small company called united rentals okay guys like in the 60s or 70s he started that company so every every place you see any construction going down you will see a united rentals uh like a like a loader or you know just tractors it's just it, it's just awesome like but growing up like that i had no idea that these were like the, the people that make the that give the opportunities in the economy and hire a whole bunch of people and stuff like that i i had no idea what i was what i was surrounded around because you know when you grow up you only know what you what you know what you've been accustomed to like that just that's that's the way everything is because you don't know any different um but yeah it was it was quite a shock to me to learn that everyone didn't didn't live like us and it really really hurt me um it really made me sad like at, even as a, a young kid um but i am very proud of of my dad who was put in orphanages you guys on the weekends sometimes in chicago back in the 30s he was born in 32 and he became a, a very very successful doctor. He put himself through Northwestern Medical School driving a taxi in Chicago in the late 40s and early 50s. Um, he went to UCLA for his undergrad and then went to, to, to Northwestern. Like, like I'm just so proud of that man and, and what he did with absolutely nothing. His family had nothing. They were so, so broke. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I don't know why I'm rambling on about stuff like that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's change the subject for a minute. Hey guys, you guys got a shop here. It's the best smoke shop in all the town. The owner, he deserves all the love in the world. All the love in the world. He is just a wonderful, wonderful guy. His name is Sahil. I think you guys would love him. I did a video on their store. I'm going to do another one soon. Um, and like literally, guys, I... I I, I do this because I respect him a lot. And this is a small town. Um, it's, I don't have to be selfish to help somebody out. Like, uh, I, I don't ask him for, for discounts or free product or anything like that. He'll help me out by like talking about me to like people and stuff. Like, uh, I, I really appreciate you, Sahil. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, brother, brother. Okay, so. That's unfortunate because earlier, I swear on my life, I saw one snowflake, but the camera was not on. It just came out of nowhere, but it was it was 100% a snowflake. It says 45 degrees in my or outside right now, but when I left my house just a few minutes ago, it was 37 degrees. I think my car is having some issues, but yeah, 37 degrees, you guys. Holy crap! Look at this, guys. It's, it's getting darker over here. We might have to go up by like Bear real quick and see if we can get any any weather coming up there. But yeah, guys, it's Friday. We ain't got to do. We're gonna get. Where you at? Just kidding. That's from a movie. Uh, I think that's the Cheech and Chong movie. Where the no, no, it's a scary movie. I don't know. One of the birds is like. Where you at? Yeah, it's probably had to be a Cheech and Chong movie. Okay, folks. Hope your lives are going well. You guys mean so much to me, it's not even funny. I'm just very, very proud. Very, very, very proud that I get you guys in my life like this. guys in three weeks I'm staying for my other YouTube channel um, this one's a little out, a little out of control it's a Forbes five star and that's a big 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 time deal um, it's I think that like means it's like in the top 20 to top 50 resorts in the whole entire world you guys I think that's that's what that means it's like uh, it's not just a five star it's been like uh, researched and and uh, just everything by by the by the Forbes company by Forbes and uh, yeah 
it's uh, it's called the resort at Pelican Hill and that's where I come from you guys that's my home area right there so I'm very familiar with that area but I haven't been at to that that hotel I haven't even seen it in person yet yet I lived right right behind it literally like half a mile up up the hill we lived way up higher up and uh, I used to I almost went professional playing golf out of that place right there Pelican Hill Golf Club golf course is was was my home course and Glenn Deck one of the best coaches out there he had a lot of LPGA players and uh, I was one of the the few it seemed P, uh, future PGA players that that he was trying to um, groom but my whole point is that ever since I stopped playing golf because of health issues I, I haven't been back to to that area really which is kind of weird because that's right where I, I grew up but the hotel's new the hotel's been there for like 10 years um, so that shows how long it's been since I've, I've actually been around there but um, it's been there for about 10 years and it looks magnificent the pool guys check it out on, online you guys are not gonna believe it, it it's it it has like a two-story cabana that wraps completely around the the pool all individual cabanas um, it's it's just it's as luxury as you can possibly get you don't have to lift a finger for anything here um, the price of it you guys I don't even want to say it like that's it's it's like it's like buying a car I'm not kidding it's ridiculous but my mom deserves it and you know what like I don't care because she deserves it oh I smell bacon all right just kidding I just watched Wayne's World so I've got that stuck in my head I smell bacon without the accent like that they weren't like, hey, Garn, I smell bacon. Do you smell any bacon or some pork product of some type? Uh, so we're, the temperature's dropping again. It's 44 at the moment. At the moment. Here's a, one of our grocery stores right there. A little shopping center. Here's Snow Summit up here to the right. I hope you guys can see it through the obviously there's not there's there's a little patch at the very top of snow you can see it still and on bear but you can see it snowed up at, at the top of bear you can see white on the top of the trees that is so cool we're gonna have to head over there we're going to have to head over there to bear all right that's so cool guys Definitely, uh, definitely snowing <coughs> up there. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> I <just coughs> swallowed. <coughs> I just swallowed down the wrong pipe. Oh my god. Pardon me, guys. That was weird. For some reason, I've been doing that a lot more lately. Like usually, that would be like a once every other year event. It's been happening like once a month. I don't know what's going on. If I'm developing some sort of serious medical issues where I'm 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 not as responsive to when I swallow right away and it gets caught or so I, I have no idea, but I'm a little bit worried about it, but it's all good. It's all good in the hood. Okay guys, we are on Moon Ridge Road. Oh my goodness gracious, my friend. Where did I put my glasses? I'm telling you guys, man. If you guys like nice hotels and, 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 and stuff like that, you'd like my other channel. Like, uh, yeah, it doesn't have that many videos yet, but um, I'm doing the best I can. It's not cheap. <laughs> like, uh, um, I, I don't get like free stay or anything like that for doing these videos. That is kind of the, the goal eventually. And it, it's not for a free stay just because I, I, I want to stay there. No, it's because I'm obsessive compulsive and I need to hit every five-star hotel on on planet earth and i will accomplish that so like it's it, yeah it's just <laughs> yeah I, i'm not looking for a free ride i'm really not um but that would be a huge benefit if something like that does happen because over time i'm sure the channel would would would, would get a little bit of recognition and 
even if I get like a thousand views and, and that's it on one of the videos, I mean, maybe there would be a chance that some of these hotels might, I don't know, do some, do some, some calculations and, and realize that, you know, if just, I don't know, 0 0.5, 0 0.05 freaking percent. So half of 1%. If, if two of those half of 1% actually rented a room that watched, then it, it would pay for the room I stayed in twice. So yeah, that would be a super, super, super bonus if I can stay there for free. But my whole point was that it's like, uh, it's not because I really am desperate to go stay at the hotel. I just, I just really enjoy it. And it's, it's mainly for my mom. Um, not say that I wouldn't be doing this. I, I absolutely still would, but yeah, it's, uh, it, it's not like a total selfish need. It's just cause I want to put it on the YouTube channel. So that's it. And I'm going to be golfing here on Sunday. Good one. get up to 59 degrees. Okay guys, here's bear. Looking pretty bare, but look at how green. Those hillsides are so beautiful. Obviously it's so much greener here because they make snow all winter time and so it's constantly getting moisture. And here's hole number one right here at the at the golf course. Let's zoom in on it real quick so you can see where I'll be teeing off for the number one hole on Sunday. There's no one behind us and no one coming. Gorgeous. Okay, so we're gonna make the right up here and head up last in a bit to see if we can get into some snow for folks. That'd be pretty pretty awesome sauce if we could do that. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. Guys, if, if we see one snowflake, dude, we freaking, we are awesome. But I did see one, but it doesn't count because you guys didn't see it. So, look at how green that is, man. I love it. I love it a lot, man. I love it. I love it so much. So we're just gonna continue up on Lassen here. My grandmother used to live on a street called Lassen, my grandma and grandpa, which makes me so sad. Hang on, guys. All right, guys. Sorry about that. I was talking to my mama. To my mama. And I was like, mama, I'm coming home. Oh, there's my old boss, I think. That is my old boss, Steve. Steve LaCroix. I'm going to talk to him on the loudspeaker. Just be like, hey, buddy. Uh, that probably will be a butt. Oh, no. He won't get mad. He's super cool. He's super cool. He's one of those bosses that you want to work for. I think that's Steve, let's see. Later, LaCroix. <laughs> I went on my loudspeaker. This is Bear Mountain, you guys. the snakes in there though oh my god you guys one of these one of these seasons we need to get like a metal detector and sneak onto the mountain really really early like like right when the snow like when we know the snow is going to start to reveal some stuff in the in the ground and then uh not only find a bunch of stuff but find it and well i guess it wouldn't make sense to put it in the lost and found because once the people leave the mountain they're probably just uh, uh, you know under the assumption it's gone but I'm telling you, I wouldn't mind like finding a bunch of stuff and just putting it in the lost and found up there. Because it's not mine, dude. Like, how many times have you guys lost something on a ski lift? And I know some people say, well, you know what? You should protect your stuff more. And you know what? I get that. At the same time, though, people make mistakes. And I, it's, 
it's, it sucks because they, they're very costly mistakes up here. Seriously, like every time I go skiing, I feel like I lose a pair of gloves and I pay like 60 bucks for the gloves every time because I want the best gloves. Like you don't want to save money. It's, you'll be spending a lot more money because you'll be more desperate. You'll have to buy new stuff. You know? and so, oh gosh, guys, I just can't believe how beautiful this is. Anyway, I apologize for such a long video. I thought we might be able to get into some snow, but there was clearly new snow on the very top of Bear Mountain. I can see that. Just on the trees, though. It was just a just a little white, a white dusting. I wish we could... Oh, you know what? Maybe 2N10's open. Dude. Dude. We might be able to get some snow if 2N10's open. Give me... Oh, my gosh, guys. This will be a long video. This will be a long, long, long video. Oh, you know what? I switched out my off-roading tires two days ago for brand new street tires. Damn it. Ugh. If there's any time to still try and do that, it would be now. Look at this course. So here's the new zoo. Is our new zoo. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I can't wait to check out the new zoo. When I first moved up here, uh, one of my new YouTube friends, he was like my first YouTube friend for this channel, he actually bought me an annual pass and sent it in the mail, bought me like uh, an off-roading map for all of our our off-road stuff that I've been looking for for a long time and, and just couldn't find anything and he actually sent it to me just out of the blue guys he he bought me an annual pass to the dang zoo like that's you guys man that's that's you guys you guys are freaking awesome but we just passed where we would go into 2n10 so yeah unfortunately I don't think we're gonna even though shoot man Maybe we, oh man, I don't know. I really want to. But unfortunately, we tried. As I said, there have been a couple snowflakes. I just, had, I, I didn't get them on video. So we did get a little bit. I mean, as little as it gets. Anyway, I love you guys. Sorry for being so annoying as usual. Uh, I just miss you guys so much and I don't really have many friends. So when I get to you, have you guys in my life, I just talk, 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 talk. Like a mug. Love you guys. Peace out. Okay. All right, you guys. I decided, forget it. We're, we are going to do the 2N10 right now. It just sucks because I'm in the middle of my work day and I don't get any phone service. So, um, yeah. Very, 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 very. It's a very, 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 very. So we're going to be basically taking this route again. Uh, down club view next to the golf course like deja vu but you guys are gonna get to see the spot that I like to send you guys a lot when we have snow because it's typically a good spot to sled um, you know but unfortunately because I, I bring it up so much there are a lot more people going but um, it's still still good because they get to have fun you know crowded or not as long as you're just respectful and and, uh, you know, parents take control of your kids. Uh, don't let them bully other kids and stuff like that. We got it going. We got it going. Yeah, here's the zoo. Oh, man, I can't wait to check it out. I, I checked out the old zoo. I loved it. I loved it a lot, man. <laughs> but, yeah, this is going to be pretty cool. Except I hope 2N10 isn't completely trashed. Guys, we're literally going off-roading in the right behind Snow Summit right behind Snow Summit. And I'm gonna have to make a video at the end of this to put at the beginning, just like a five second clip saying, hey guys, another long annoying video. But about three quarters of the way through, I decided to take the coolest off-roading 
adventure. So, uh, hope you guys fast forward to that. That's something that I'll say. Be like, damn, sup, damn, 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 damn. No, no, no. Hey guys, look, this is where you go sledding. This is right where I always tell you guys, when you get to Bear, instead of turning left here to go to Bear and Park, stay to the right. Just stay to the right and go up till it, till it dead ends and then you'll be perfect. So we're gonna look out to the left and see a little bit of Bear. See some Bear, Bear. It looks really pretty though, guys. I love how green it is. I love it a lot. So we're headed up to 2N10. And give me a moment, I gotta check my messages, hang on. 